Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part 6 of Dynasty Warriors 5 Extreme Legends and in this episode We are going to start free mode. We're probably gonna no, we are gonna skip the five stages We did with Pangda, but the remaining 28 I'm going to do because after all I'm going to be taking them one by one starting with the Battle of Xiliang which this is actually the start of Dong Zhuo's campaign. All five of them, by the way, and the final battle for him is Hulao Gate, where Cao Cao betrays him and you have to fight off against, not Cao Cao, Lu Bu. Lu Bu, <laughs> I'm a fool. This isn't Dynasty Warriors 9. So, <clears throat> where Lu Bu betrays him and you have to face off against Lu Bu in the final battle. Now, in this one, you're practically fighting against the Yellow Turbans, and when you guys saw that stage with the, had the log that came down with it, that's the starting stage for Dong Zhuo. And I'm referencing my playthrough, like, constantly, because that's the very first Dynasty Warriors game I played for this channel. And I've been playing a lot of Dynasty Warriors games ever since. So we're gonna get a crossbow guy. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be leveling up my bodyguards so that they can raise and rank and be of use and drop items, but still, I'll be able to at least survive with either a level B, S, or A ranked bodyguard. Unless it's hard and unless they're on a very low Once rank. But whatever the case, folks. <coughs> There is two things I want to mention. One, if you're Dong Zhuo, and this is your starting stage. Well, actually, no. Dong Zhuo does not have a weapon here, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure it's somebody else. I'll probably put it in the description below. But I do know who actually has a special weapon anywhere. The Edit Player. Whether you're the Rapier or you're the Great Sword, all you have to do on hard is gain a thousand kills. Easier said than done. And there is a reason why. Because in the midst of you trying to get a thousand kills, you may inadvertently kill off everything and everyone. You may even inadvertently kill off the Guard Captain. What? What? The yellow turbans, are they behind this? Well, it's more than just that log now, and thanks to Cheng Yuan Chi, we're, or Cheng Yuan Zi, sorry, we're gonna have to deal with boulders! Try to outmaneuver the boulders and be careful, because sometimes they will appear right after you pass their spawning point and hit me really, really hard and drop my health down to half. Despite your defense, the higher the difficulty, the more damage those boulders are gonna do. Plain and simple. But whatever you do, if you're trying to aim for a thousand, don't kill the gate captains. I make that mistake. You just let all the guards keep coming. Not just the guards, but all the uh, enemies keep coming. And you just do as much. Oh god damn it! I end up killing off the gate captain. God damn it! That's not what I wanted to do. I have a high enough attack to where I can just kill him off in just two hits. God damn it! Ugh, that was stupid. But whatever the case, their magic is now gone. And there's a bridge there. The rocks will only spawn until Ching Yuan Chi is defeated. So on the I mean Cheng Yuan Z. I keep getting those names correctly. I mean incorrectly, sorry. Ugh, my bad. But there are other places where you could actually get like one one thousand kills. Specifically the Nanmans. 
if you want to risk it, because Ming Hua is pretty tough. And defeating him seven times in a row is kind of a pain in the ass. No, not kind of, is a pain in the ass. More importantly, let's not forget about the fact that you need a level 3 sword just for you to even remotely try to take on the, getting the level 4 weapons. Yeah, you need all the combo uh, skills you can get. And a level 3 sword will do that for you. And while this is a long part, it's primarily me trying to reach a thousand, but there's a different reason why I'm reaching a thousand. See, if you reach a thousand on any difficulty, here's the thing. You actually get a fifth slot here in this game, if I'm not mistaken. You would get a fifth slot, and that will be the, um... Ooh, and by the way, you have to kill Zhang Liang to stop the, uh log from going about and that would take care of the log so that'll allow um, Dong Chua to proceed. You can skip doing that and just go on ahead and continue on but it would be in your best interest to stop the log from proceeding. And by the way, you can also eliminate Ding Mao if you want. Oh yeah, and for the record, don't go the way where um, Dong Zhuo's going, unless you're going to take care of Ding Mao first. Because the log, if you try to jump over it, will run you over and do some damage, just like the rocks will. So it's really not worth it. So, the next thing we're going to have to do is go into the base. And by the way, this is actually supposed to be Machao's first mission and oh you idiot what am, what are you doing you fool and I killed a checkpoint guard god damn it I should have just left the checkpoint guard alone and let the guards come in and I let the guys keep coming until I reach about uh, six or seven um hundred and then move on but it takes a while for them to do so I didn't mean to kill him. I really didn't. Now then, the her, the morale of some of the enemies are dropping. Be well, some of my friends are dropping because of the fact that I think the soldiers are killing if off his troops. Die, then we'll be happy now then, um, we just took care of the yellow turbans. Uh, it's this other base actually, and we're gonna go on ahead and just kill as many yellow turbans in here as humanly possible. By the way, the name of the character that I just so happen to make, Sun Lu Bon. Believe it or not, she's actually a real character. Well, not the way she's designed, but she is in fact a real character. She is Sun Xuan's oldest daughter, if I'm not mistaken, from uh, Lian Shi. And she's probably one of the biggest reasons why the Kingdom of Wu fell and would eventually fall to Jin. And one of the biggest reasons is the fact that uh, she was playing politics behind the scenes. She was the reason for the family feud between Sun Ha and Sun, and Sun Ba, and more importantly, she would be the driving force behind most of Sun Liang's reign as Emperor. But she would also be the person responsible for instating Sun Chin. That would be a mistake that would cost um, Wu a lot. Not to mention the other mistake of trying to kill off Zugaka. But then again, Zugaka was trying to take over uh, Wu for his own selfish reasons. And, yeah, I just went past those uh, Phantom Soldiers. Of course, you can't kill them until you take out the source of the um, magic. So, sorry for cutting off, for jumping subjects, but I was just actually uh, talking about what's happening just in case somebody doesn't get the 411 about what's going on. And later on, some of Machao's forces is going to show up. And when they do, that's pretty much going to be the end of the Yellow Turbans right there. And we're just cutting down Shang Bao's units so that they will not be able to 
uh, have any more morale. And that's all there is to it. And also to try to get that close to a thousand and just keep on working my way to a thousand. However, unfortunately, spoiler alert, I'm not going to get it. But back to the character that I made, there was one other thing that should be noted that she's responsible for. She's responsible for her sister's death as well because there was an uh, uprising and she practically framed her sister for being a rebel rouser and had her killed. So yeah, she was playing politics up until Sun Chen went there and went behind their backs and uh, got her and Sun Liang removed from power and put Sun Xu in, which ended up being his death. And at the time, and by the time Sun Xu ruled, ruled for about 13 years and he was about to pick an heir, well, he ended up picking the wrong heir. No, actually, he didn't establish an heir. He didn't establish a will because he died before he could. Well, his retainers established a will, and when they did, they picked the wrong heir. And when they did, Sun Hao became powerful. He became, well, full of hatred for the Sun family, not to mention Wu entirely because of the fact that Thanks to uh, Sun Luban, he was pretty much a commoner, and he's been, he was a commoner until he was pretty much given the right to rule. And once he became ruler, he took all of his vengeance out on being made a, a commoner and his father being forced to die also due to Sun Luban. <clears throat> out on pretty much the entirety of Wu, which caused Wu to fall at the hands of Jin. So that's basically the whole story about her. She's pretty much the driving force to Wu's destruction. And Sun, and Sun Xuan really couldn't do much about it, because he was on his deathbed when the destruction happened. Or actually, no, he was dead by the time the destruction took place. And speaking of the destruction, Machao is here and the destruction pretty much took place with the yellow turbans. And we just completely annihilated just about every last one of them, save for a few. But the only reason why I'm coming back here, because there is a, yep, there is a Musao wine right here. So there you have it, folks. There's your Musao wine. So, now that we got our Musa wine, now that we got all the caches, now that we the got the Attack. life up, all that's left is just to defeat uh, Zhang Jiao. But there's something else we needed to do. We'll probably have to try to gain a thousand, but unfortunately we'll get as close as 798. I almost did it one time, on hard no less. But the problem of the matter is, I accidentally killed the gate captain and when I did that denied me of getting uh, 1000 and also it was running low on time either so I really couldn't do much about that but one thing is for sure if you keep the guard captain alive and have the guard captain constantly spawn out troops You'll get about 10, 20, maybe 30 troops a pop. Or should I say just 7 to 10 troops a pop and just constantly slashing them. Oh god, no, no, no! Don't kill the guard captain! Oh, I, I think I killed the guard captain. You'll get big chunks like... Oh, I accidentally killed the guard captain. God damn it. God damn it, you fool. Oh well, look on the bright side. We still got one more guard captain to deal with. And it's on the other side. Funnily enough, Zhang Jiao does not retreat in free mode. It's only in Musa mode they actually retreat. <clears throat> So look on the bright side, at least 
the enemy's not gonna retreat after you take all of the uh, checkpoints and all the bases because I practically took all the bases and I only have like one more checkpoint to get and that's it all the checkpoints will be in our possession and more importantly all we need to do is just take out Zhang Jiao and that is it but no there are like maybe 10 creative characters you can make in this game and you can even go through destiny mode to make your creative character and also bring them uh, from destiny mode to extreme mode or and actually not, not extreme mode but rather um actually no I think you can take a character to extreme mode I'm not sure I gotta check up on that but I do know you can take them to Musa mode or not actually no 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 you can't you just go to take them to free mode however you can actually transfer them over to Empire and this will probably be the last game to ever oh god no no pass me just ignore the guard captain Ignore the guard captain and go after the flunkies. Just kill the guard cap. No, kill the flunkies. Just kill the flunkies. Just let them keep coming and don't kill the guard captain. Wait, I think I killed the guard captain. Oh, sweet lord, I killed the guard captain. God damn it. Or somebody else killed the guard captain. <sighs> Oh well, but as I was saying, you can take your character over to Empire's mode, and when you do, it's going, he or she are going to be not at a high level, actually no, they are going to be at a high level, and also the weapon they bring over with them, they are going to have. However, they're not going to be able to be edited as far as weapons are concerned. Only their clothes can be edited. Because they're not going to be able to show up to this, um, to Empire's mode with a creative weapon. you got to make that manually. Otherwise, when you go to Destiny mode, you're pretty much choosing the officer that you're going to copy the moveset from. And that officer's weapon is going to be yours permanently. Once you actually copied the moveset from the officer, or at least bought a new sword, or at least got a new sword, found a new sword, or whatever the case, whatever the heck. And now that I stop and think about it, any weapon you actually choose for the main character, no, for your, not main character, sorry, I'm getting confused here. Any weapon you choose for the creative character that's somebody else's, um, you have, you can actually go through the, uh, free mode and actually make the prerequisites and you can get those weapons yourself. There's, I think there's only one weapon you can't do that with, and I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken, that would be, if not Sunsa, who was it? Oh, right, it would actually be... I'm pretty sure it's South Tzu. South Tzu the only one you can't do that with. Oh wait, no, it's not South Tzu. I think it's Liu Bei, yes. He's the only one that may need free mode, because there's certain things that'll, for him that will show up on free mode that doesn't show up in the act... No, on Musa mode that doesn't show up on free mode. But nonetheless, the only reason why I come here, because there's a lot of enemies here, it just keeps respawning, and that'll get you to about, like, maybe 700 enemies to be killed. And by the way, I can only get max if I reach up to 99,999. And I also got weak weapons, so I'm going to discard them all, because I don't need them. But you're going to be of good help, hopefully to raise up from level 4 all the way to level 6. Oh, excuse me, bodyguard. got the hiccups there. And I don't need that. I do not this need a another guardian. As a it's alright. I've got more than enough. So on that note, I'm going to end it here. And yeah, we are way too weak to actually try to go in the hard. So, anyway, I'll see you in the next episode of Dynasty Warriors 4. Or, I mean, 5, sorry. 
as we continue on through free mode in part 7 and in part 8. And expect more yellow turban magic. Peace out!